What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Yellow walkthrough on the 3DS on our Draven and Gym Leader Draven channel. Sheesh. Still need to get used to that whole thing, you know, calling it Gym Leader Draven, not Draven XC711 anymore. Anywho, in our last episode, you guys probably already saw the, the preview and all that stuff. There it is. Mm-hmm. We're looking good with one badge and wow. <laughs> we we are broke. Look at that, $98. $98 and yeah. Anywho, last episode we defeated Brock, and now it is time to go to the next route, I guess. Next route, make ourselves better. Um, I did deposit a few Pokemon. <laughs> Got the hiccups, and uh, let's see, what else? Hmm. Oh yeah, I did buy a few items. But as you can see, we have three good Pokemon right here, and we're going to keep them going into this next route, which, well, I gotta check it out right now. Notice! Thieves have been stealing Pokemon fossils at Mount Moon. Please call Pewter, uh, the Pewter Police with any info. Well, that's one of the many uh, cries of help because, yeah, we, we got some issues with Team Rocket. So here it is, change of color and all that stuff. And yes, this is the world famous place where we are going to be battling a buttload of trainers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it up right here and go with Sparky first because why not? He didn't even get to battle in the gym. Mm -mm, no sir, Rebob. So here we go. This lady right here is like, you looked at me funny, right? No, not really. You just looked at me. So here we have our first battle against Lass. And yes, she will be coming out with a Pidgey. How did I know? Probably because i played this game so many times. So many, so many times. Trust me, guys. For, for some of the newer players out there, you, I've been playing this before you guys were born. As many as you guys, yeah. And, uh, well, it, you kind of get a second habit of... Or a second uh, sense of, or sixth sense of uh, what these Pokemon are gonna, or what what Pokemon are gonna be coming out. Sorry, I'm a little tired today, very very tired. But as you can see, Sparky's kicking some butt right here. Alas, is like, hmm, you're mean. Um, not really. So we're getting out of the red with the whole uh, money issue, and I believe that is a bug trainer. So let's go ahead and switch it up to Thrasher. Now another goal for us right here is to evolve Thrasher into Nidorino. Because going into Mount Moon, yes, we will be able to find ourselves a, some, some good items like the Moonstone. So here it is, another bug catcher. We, apparently we battled him back in the Viridian Forest. So here he comes out with his Caterpie. I know, I know. I call it Caterpie. But I like to, I like to, I like to call it Caterpie. So here it is. Let's go ahead and just horn the crap out of it. Look at that. Oh yes. Not a double attack, but it, it still does a good damage right here. So more horn attack. Say goodbye to Caterpie. And yes, he's gonna be coming out with a Weedle. I'm gonna stay with Thrasher right here because it is also a poison type Pokemon, and yeah, poison attacks won't affect it as much. So more horn attacks on the way. Oh, and by the way, guys, this is a live com. Yes, you guys are. This is like what, the sixth episode in a row where you're getting a live com. You don't really get this. I'm starting to see the, the benefits of doing a live com. That's pretty fun. It really is. Not only that, you won't get, you won't be late on, uh, or I won't be late on some of the commentary right here that's in the game. And look at that, Thrasher's at level 14, and here comes another Caterpie. So what I'm going to do is give Pig Hammer, Pig Hammer, a chance to battle right here. Some love, because we all know this guy's a little bit of, well, an anger monger or whatever he is. So we go scratch attack and more string shots. Wow. All these Caterpies can do. You know, I've always had a complaint. I've said it in my Draven X711 channel. Why couldn't these trainers just evolve them into Butterfreeze or not? The only time we ever see like a Butterfree or a Beedrill is later on after we defeat the, the second gym leader. And, uh, well, that's another victory for us right there. And he's like, You beat me again! Well, yep. Let's see what you have to say. There's other, th there's other kinds of Pokemon than those that I found in the forest. Well, then go look for them. Better yet, evolve your Pokemon. Jeez. It's not that hard. Okay, so let's go back to Sparky. I have a feeling this guy's going to have some some uh, really mean Pokemon right here. He's like, hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Me too. If, you, if I had to pick a Pokemon trainer back when I was a little younger, it would be a youngster because... Well, if you guys know me in real life and whatnot, I always wear shorts. It's been a while since I've been uh, since I've worn pants. Actually, you know, the only times I ever wear pants is when I have to go coach or to a service while coaching because, yeah, Catholic school is pretty awesome, pretty awesome right there. And that quick attack gets us pretty badly right there. And oh 
Oh god. Another quick attack. Again, Sparky of Pikachu. Not very good on defense. And the good thing is, we do have, we did stock up on a few po potions right here. So, won't be as bad. And, uh, well, this guy's coming out with a neck. And so, let us give Thrasher a big, a bit of a chance right here. I don't want to lose Sparky right now. So, here's Atkins. And here's my Thrasher. And, uh, well, let's go with this little horn attack right here. Mm-hmm. There we go. Takes a good amount. So, Thrasher's becoming a very, very good attacker right here. I'm not having any worries if he uh, out levels uh, Pikachu for right now. And uh, there we go. Another experience points. And this guy's like, I don't believe it. I don't believe it, buddy. So let's see what he says. Are you sorting or are you storing your Pokemon on the PC? Each box can hold 20 Pokemon. Yeah. Kinda noticed that. Kinda noticed that. So I'm gonna heal my Sparky right here because I really don't want him to faint. Let's see. Who should we battle first? You know what? Let's battle this guy first. He does have a Spiro, level 14, and you know, Sparky could use the uh, the no, oh, well the well the the even match right here. So this guy's complaining about me not wearing shorts, buddy. If you see me here out like in real life, yes, I am wearing shorts right now. So here he comes out with a level what? 14 Spiro. Alrighty, let's see. I'm gonna go with a thunder shot because you're not you're not as fast as me. And, wow, that takes a lot. And, okay, you could have attacked me. So I'm going to finish you off right here with a Thundershock. Say goodbye to you. And, no level, no level ups. Huh. Lost, lost, lost. Huh. Okay, what do you have to say for now? I always wear shorts, even in the winter. Well, that makes two of us, buddy. That makes two of us. Real Life Draven does wear shorts in the winter, believe it or not. Um, actually, I do wear sweatpants sometimes because, remember, I did break my ankle, and <laughs> broken ankle does not mix well with the cold. And here we are. Are you a trainer? Let's fight. All right, bring it on, buddy. It's your funeral. So here we go. Another bug catcher. Pretty sure he has, yeah, okay, so he has a Weedle right here. Hopefully Pig Hammer does not get poisoned because we don't want that kind of business right now. I think I did stock up on some antidotes right there. So, Lexi, scratch attack. There's that poison steam that I was expecting. And it was a critical hit. Luckily, we did not get poisoned. So, just continue on with these scratch attacks. Oh, yes. Weedle goes down for the count. That is right. And, uh, I don't know what happened right there. That was just like a frozen thing. So, here it comes out with the Kakuna. So, I'm going to stay with Pick Hammer just to get a little more experience points. Obviously, Kakuna is going to have a lot of, uh... Hmm. Obviously, uh, he's gonna he's gonna be using a uh, Harden all the time, but you know I think we could beat him. Look at that! That was a critical hit. Best thing about Mankey right here is that you do you can get those critical hits once in a while. And there we go. Say goodbye to Kakuna. Hello, level 13. And uh, okay, so coming out with the Caterpie, might as well give Sparky a little bit of a chance right here. Caterpie, hello. The other thing is that I really do want Sparky to gain another level right here, level 15. Let's see. Huh. String shot. Oh, God. Lower my speed. But yet, I'm still faster. God bless that speed. Yes, that speed. And look at that. Level 15 for Sparky. Sparky's learning a new move. It is double team. And you know what? I might as well learn it right now because, you know, we could use a, an evasiveness move right here. So there it is. Got rid of Tail Whip and learn Double Team right here. And he, he's coming out with a Metapod, so I'm going to go switch it up with Thrasher right here. Because I do have a feeling that he might grow another level right here. So, switch it up. Go, Thrasher. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's go with that Horn Attack. It's doing us good. Doing us wonders. All that. And, uh, well, that Metapod is just, you know, hardening away. Hardening, hardening, hardening. And, oh, come on! Should have fainted right there. Double kick. Not the most effective move, but it does get that critical hit. And look at that. Thrasher's another victory. If I had new Pokemon, I would have won. True, if you would have evolved your Pokemon. Would have been true, but you lost. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to waste a potion right now. I'm just gonna go ahead and battle this chick right here. She's gonna be looking at me and she's gonna be saying something weird like, Ugh, that look you gave me, it's so intriguing! 
Well, if I was a 10 year old, I'd be like, ooh, that's a girl in a skirt. Now, me as a 28 year old man, that's a little girl in a skirt. Still the same thing. So here we go, Pig Hammer versus a Rattata, and it's a good thing, you know? Fighting type versus normal type, and there we go, say goodbye to Rattata. Huh, didn't, uh, I, I thought I switched Pokemon right there. Must have slipped my mind, so I'm gonna be switching up right here. Let's go, Sparky. You don't wanna mess with that, uh, Nidoran male. Here we go, and Thunder Shot. Hopefully that does as well right there, and, ooh, took half, and there's that dreaded horn attack that we keep on using on other Pokemon right there. And there we go. Say goodbye to Nidoran male. And Sparky gained some more experience points, and she's like, be nice! Not really. Avoid fights by not letting people see you. Oh, so that's what you meant. Okay, alright, well. So you guys are a little overly sensitive about that, like, the look that I have. Shoot. It's the way Arceus made me. Leave me alone. So I'm gonna switch it up with my Thrasher, and you know what? I'm gonna use that potion just in case. Remember, Pikachu doesn't have the best defense right here, so it's always good to stock up on potions right here. And here we have, you can fight my new Pokemon! Hmm. It would seem that like every single battle has its uh, lesson. Remember, if you get yourself a new Pokemon, it's not gonna be the best Pokemon right now. You have to get used to it. You have to Give it some moves, you know, you have to find it. You know, you have to be comfortable with the Pokemon, the newest Pokemon that you get. You can't just start winning off the bat right there. Sometimes you may capture a lower level Pokemon while your Pokemon are not slightly over leveled, but just at a right level. You know, you might, that Pokemon have, might have to play catch up just a little bit. And there it is. Thrasher's growing to level 16, or 15, I should say. Dang, I don't even know how to count right here. So it's coming out with a Metapod, so I'm gonna go with Sparky right here. Alright, Sparky. Let's get this. Alrighty. Thundershock. Thundershock will do the trick. Why can't you just evolve your me Metapod? Seriously. You know, it, it could prove useful for some of us trainers who want to beat you. You know. And uh, that was a critical hit. Pretty awesome. And we defeat another bug catcher. Okay. Done like dinner. Yep. So, let's see what you have to say. Train Pokemon or... Oh, yeah. Like I said, that lesson. Trained Pokemon are stronger than wild ones. It is... That is a... That is the truth right there. That is the whole truth. And uh, I'm gonna switch it up to Pick Hammer because we do have one more trainer here who does have a normal type Pokemon. And she's like, Eek! Did you touch me? No. See what I mean? I have to get all defensive right here. Sheesh. Okay, so she has one Pokemon, so we all know that that Pokemon's gonna be overleveled. And that is Jigglypuff. One thing we have to worry about is her singing. Luckily for us, Pick Hammer. Oh, God. Oh, okay, so good luck right there. Low kick. Kick them in the crotch. And that Sing Attack. We should be worried about that Sing Attack. Now, remember, you can buy uh, Awakenings and Viridian City. So, if you guys are looking forward to this one right here, just stock up on the, that, that Awakening right there. And she's like, that's it? Mm-hmm. I just beat you with the Pick Hammer. Okay, Route 4 is at the foot of Mount Moon. Okay, so we are in Route 4. Wow. Completely forgot. Now, if you go down here in this grass, you will be able to find, I believe, a Jigglypuff and a few Spearow here and there. So, if you guys are looking for those Pokemon, that's the place to go. And, uh... Okay, so I think that's pretty much it right here. Talk to this gentleman. Who better rest, or better take a rest, Grown. The tunnel from Cerulean takes... You wait, 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 I gotta read that again. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, woo. I better take a rest. Groan. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Okay, all right. Okay, I gotta start learning how to read better. And here we are, Route Three, Mount Moon ahead. And here we are in the entrance area of Mount Moon, I guess. So before we leave, there is one more thing that I need to do before you know I, I stop this episode right here now. If you guys checked out my avatar, you guys already know that I do have a I do have a Pokemon that I would like to use in, in most of my walkthroughs right here. So you go to this corner right here, talk to this gentleman. He's like, "Hello there. Have I got a deal for you? I'll let you, I'll let you have a swell magic card for just five hundred dollars. What do you say? Well, since I do have the money, I might as well. So the next Pokemon on our team, unfortunately, it's Magikarp. And it's mainly because Gyarados. We're going to be using that Pokemon from here on in. 
So there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Magikarp, and we got a nickname for you. May not be as much right now, because you're just a Magikarp, and we're probably going to be doing a lot of switching back and forth right here. But this, this right here, this is, this should be some inspiration. We're going to be calling you this. Let's see. Not Hydro, but Hail Hydra. So there it is, guys. Our newest Pokemon, the Magic or Hydra, the Magikarp, right here. As you can see, not good on attack nor the special, but its defense is pretty high, especially for its speed. The only attack it has is Splash, and uh, <laughs> oh jeez, we're, we're gonna be—it's gonna be a while before we even evolve this Pokemon because remember, getting a, get, a Gyarados is worth it. It's just you gotta train this Pokemon. Especially with a splash attack. Now, if you talk to this guy right here, he's like, Team Rocket attacks Cerulean citizens. Team Rocket is always in the news. Hmm. Okay. So, that's a little bit of more of an information of what we're going to be facing later on. So, stay tuned, guys, in the next episode. We will be going through Mount Moon and, you know, see if we can get to Cerulean City. I'll see you guys next time.